Welcome back to P&J Beach Life, where we show you the majestic world beneath the waves. Today, we take a close look at the pipe horse, one of my favorite of the cygnathid family, which also includes seahorses and pipefish. The pipe horse has an elongated horizontal body like pipefish, but has a prehensile tail that we more commonly associate with seahorses. There is only one known species of pipe horse in the Caribbean, but individuals can vary pretty dramatically in appearance. The two pipe horses in this video were both found on Seba in the Eastern Caribbean during the same week, but as you can tell, their appearance is very different. This female has dark coloration that camouflages well with the twigs and dark algae. She has even grasped her tail onto a twig that is almost identical in color to herself. However, she also has a few lighter colored filaments on her belly that blend in well with a crushed coral rubble. The other pipe horse is covered with many light colored filaments that camouflage the pipe horse amongst the seagrass and the sandy bottom. But blending into your surroundings goes beyond just coloration. Movement, or lack thereof, can quickly betray an animal's presence. This pipe horse sways back and forth amongst the seagrass, seeming to the casual observer to be just another piece of seagrass waving in the current. Like their seahorse and pipefish cousins, pipe horses are relatively slow moving and have little defense against predators. Their best defense is to keep a low profile and blend in with their surroundings. As the pipe horse pitches back and forth with the current, it takes this opportunity to watch for tiny shrimp and other small crustaceans. Cygnathins do not have expendable stomachs in which to store food. Therefore, they must eat nearly continuously for nourishment. Unfortunately, this pipe horse doesn't seem to be finding much in this particular patch of sand and keeps searching for better areas in which to feed. The current in this area was swiftly moving enough that the pipe horse could simply release its grip on the seagrass and sail away in the current. In addition to using the current to move, pipe horses can also swim and control their direction of travel using their tiny, nearly transparent fins. Or they can also move by twisting their bodies to walk on top of the seagrass or other objects in their vicinity. I hope you enjoyed learning about the pipe horse. If you would like to learn more about the marine life inhabiting our oceans, subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click the bell notification to be notified when new videos are posted.